In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the latest software update on your PS5 console. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel where we give you the secrets to get the console that you want. All right, so on September 15th, 2021, there was a major software update. It adds a lot of features, including allowing you to expand storage. We're going to have some links to uh, expandable storage that you can install on your PS5 and we'll probably link to our video about what are the requirements for that if you're planning on doing it. If you're like me, I don't have a ton of videos or a ton of games, but I still am getting very close to being full with storage. You know, the PS5 doesn't have a lot of storage, so that's why we're, we're doing the uh, the software update. So this is the first time that you're allowed to uh, expand your PS5 game storage. You were able to use external drives to, to do PS4 games before this, but this is the first time everybody can put in an M.2 SSD, but you have to install this software update first. So it, you before you can use that uh, M.2 SSD, which needs to be very high level you need to make sure you get the right one. That's why I highly recommend you check out my other video before buying anything. Um, otherwise, you'll probably have to take it back or it'll break your console. So it's important to be careful on that. Okay, so here we have we have the system software update file ready to install. We're going to update system software. Uh, PS5 system software will be updated. Your PS5 will restart and start the update. So update, restarting the PS5. And so it's just uh, rebooting and installing. So you need to you need to make sure that you're you ha were downloading that right so the downloads and uploads is the home button and it's, it's the bottom of the screen if you scroll down to the very bottom of the screen it's that that middle arrow thing you know if it's not downloading when you restart your console after the the September 15 2021 uh, then it's probably because you you know your your internet is not on the console Right, so make sure that you your wife check your Wi-Fi settings. So I'm using a LAN connection. I find the LAN connections are much faster than the Wi-Fi connections. Uh, I think for Ghost of Tsushima, it was about ten times, maybe twenty, forty, fifty times faster than the Wi-Fi connection in my house. So, uh, you know, we do streaming and, you know, on this channel and uh, a streaming is very uh, internet uh, dependent and you can, while you couldn't tell the difference just browsing the internet, uh, you can definitely tell if you're using a LAN connection or not doing a LAN connection uh, if you are streaming. And I think the same thing is true uh, if you're downloading to your PS5, it just makes a big difference on how fast things download. All right, so it's still rebooting here, rebuilding the database. So at the end of this, we're going to show you, you know, how you can check your internet connection. All right, so system software update is complete. You're logged on the PS5, and so. Now you should be ready to install uh, the M.2 SSD. I'd have just a few tips. It needs to be. I'll have the links to compatible ones. It has to be over 5,000 read write speed. It needs to be a Gen 4 drive M.2 SSD. Uh, you know those are big ones. You also want to make sure the heat sink fits the the size that's very tricky to do it can't be more than eight millimeters above or two millimeters below uh, if it's a two-sided one if it's a one-sided just eight millimeters above the SSD 
But we've got those links down there. Let's see if we can uh, find go to settings. Oh, I think my controller is not connected. I need to update now. Uh, we need to plug it in. So somehow when I when I uh, installed it, the the controller doesn't seem to be connected, so I have to manually connect the controller. now updating the wireless controller device software don't turn off your ps5 so I guess this comes with a, a controller oh, we lost the connection It seems very sensitive. So it seems like you have to update the controller and you have to update uh, the at the same time. So when my when it rebooted with the update, my controller didn't come on automatically and I had to manually connect it to the USB. All right, so. settings uh, okay so we want to look at the the network settings right so you know you check your internet so check your connection status if you've not downloaded the update uh, there's a test you can view connection status right it says it says that I'm connected uh, oh it says I'm on Wi-Fi so preferably I would I would connect to LAN does say uh, there is a land so maybe I'm connected to both and then test internet connection yeah so we're just connected to Wi-Fi here yeah so it's not super uh, but it, it does it does say that I'm connected right so that if that's if you're not getting the downloads you want to go to this uh, settings network so you go to the top settings network connection and then test it and make sure that you're connected and if if you're connected then restart your machine and it should have that and then you go to Gonna skip the tour uh, we go to this arrow button and that's downloads and uploads and that tells you what is uploading and downloading right yeah so right now we're already installed the update so that's not on downloads and uploads all right subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel we give you the secrets to get the console you want.